Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Railway Empire. We're going to get started with the campaign here today, but again, remember, in this game, there are some scenarios, a free build mode, and a sandbox mode available coming to Steam very soon. Make sure you add this one to your wish list, and make sure you hit that like button, too, to see more of this content. I'm going to be playing a lot more of this, so if you'd like to see more train games, hit that like button, support the developers here, and just take a look at the game. So sit back, enjoy, and of course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of this content. I'll be live streaming it, that kind of thing. So we're going going to head right into the campaign here. We have one chapter that we can play here today, and we're going to get started right here in the Great Plains in 1863 and go over a lot of features and stuff. Raptor, this is a re-upload. Oh, yes, we actually have a more complete version now, a, 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 what they call the a preview build. So we're going to go back and play this again. If you've already seen a video like this, we're going to be playing through that same mission. But don't worry, this is stuff you probably haven't seen before. So let's get started by selecting our city here, an evaluation and we're going to go with this guy. I am the best choice. Yes, he is. So uh, we have some bonuses here through our characters, and you'll be seeing this if you do a free play mode or if you do a, a sandbox mode. Of course, the sandbox mode, really cool as well. Let's take a quick a quick little brief look at that. I, I really like this a lot, by the way. Uh, there's uh, campaigns all over. You see I've been playing a few of them, but uh, each and every single one of these stars is a different mission taking place in a different time period in America during uh, the 1800s and 1900s as well. So there's, of course, the uh, gold rush going on here in the West. Uh, there's an oil boom and of course taking care of all the passenger services needed in the eastern United States as well all the way up to the Midwest too for uh, basically trying to fight against the uh, automobile in the 1910s trying to make higher speed trains so let's get started with that campaign let's go let's go let's go all right good to have you all here thanks for watching okay so we're gonna get a little briefing and this is a beautiful game by the way really just absolute gorgeous gorgeous game the banks of the Missouri River the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Wow. Now, the art style here is just Massive really cool. challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy-sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished, to tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured, but the time was ripe. Wow, look at that. All right, here we are in Omaha. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand, exactly the head of Union Pacific. Oh, wow. We will go down on history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. All right, let's do now, that. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. There we go. Wow, look at this. Very nice details and graphics on everything as well. We'll be playing through this first uh, mission tutorial. This is going to be fun. All right, switch to construction mode and build a train station in Norfolk. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So here's Omaha, and here's Norfolk where we have to build. So let's go ahead and build that here. Very good. Yep. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this... Switch to track laying mode. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and connect with track laying mode here. And this is a preview build. So basically, if we don't like our line as we just laid it, we can see all the uh, earthwork costs, track costs. If we want to make it longer or shorter to connect to other areas, we can do that before we buy. So it's really nice to actually be able to now pay create your first and train build. So that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Okay, so now we have to build, uh, buy our Make first sure train. Your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Okay, so between Omaha and uh, Norfolk is where we're going. And we'll buy a train for that now. So let's save and exit and buy a locomotive. Here it's the Philadelphia 1850. So let's go ahead and buy one of these. And the train line will automatically commence. So for those of you who loved, uh, for example, uh, train, uh, rather, uh, Railroad Tycoon 3, uh, Transport Fever, or Train Fever, this is definitely the game for you. So she, you see here, we got plenty of meat loaded up in Omaha, and now it's being taken down the tracks. Let's hop on this train. Let's say we ride this train, baby. Woo! Yeah. 
Oh man, this game is absolutely beautiful too. If you're driving on this train with tunnels, or if you've got uh, a lot of cargo or a long train along a, a, a mountain or a, a river, absolutely beautiful. There you go, check that out. Okay, so one thing we need to put down as well as uh, what our, our friend here is saying is we need to put down a uh, supply tower. So we'll put that down right here. As soon as the train passes by, there we go. And that'll stop there for sand, water, and oil, and whatever else it might need to continue. Otherwise, a train can't roll without water, and it can't roll without uh, the sand. The sand, of course, going under the wheels to gain traction on any sort of incline. Luckily, here in the uh, plains of, uh, of this area, we won't be needing that too much. All right, we now need to construct a rural tr uh, train station down here near the corn farm. So that I believe this is Evan's farm. So let's get started here by uh, building a uh, farm for the Evans family. They'll be delivering their corn here to this station, and then we will deliver it from here to Omaha or uh, Norfolk as well. All right, let's connect these two together, and we will buy ourselves another train and set up a line. So this very, very similar to the beta that I had played, um, so I'm happy to play through it ju uh, again. And I see some graphical improvements as well, some minor things that have changed from the quote-unquote beta. But this is a very solid game and looking really good so far, I must say. Let's buy another train. We'll go from Evans Farm to Omaha to uh, up there to Norfolk, and then it'll come back to Evans Farm. So let's go ahead and buy that, and uh, we'll add a locomotive as well. But we're going to need a little area to bypass, I think, in these trains. So uh, once we're loaded up here with corn, our train now is loading up with all sorts of different grains from the farm. And you see here uh, some of the text doesn't pop up from time to time from our little character there, and sometimes it also... Uh, doesn't uh, play the audio but again that should be ironed out as this is just the preview build so keep that in mind very minor things just a little audio thing oh look at they're bringing the beer excellent all right let's build our first side track then all right they're bringing the beer that's good all right let's build our side track here and we'll build it up this direction oh wait a minute let's see if we can make a little side track here there we go We're getting a little sidetracked i know and then we can actually build through this supply station which is nice because if you ever need to upgrade for two trains, you don't have to destroy it. They just move things around a little bit automatically for you. There you go. Now we have two lanes for construction. And uh, let's also put down uh, some signal towers as well. So if we uh, put these down, these will uh, tell the trains that they can go through or they cannot go through and makes it one way or two way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make these uh, close ended here. There we go. So the trains can only go, go through one way. And uh, so this is a great way to get them to... Uh, oop, that's not right. We'll tear that down. Wow. All right, and we'll put one here too. There we go. All right, that should be everything done. And, uh, oh yeah, we have to actually lock these down. There we go. Okay, well, that's good enough for now. All right, we're on to our next step. Here comes our train loaded with passengers, mail, and also meat. Heading through over to uh, Norfolk. Beautiful game, I must say. All right, what else do we have to do over here? Something we have to do now? Let's see, what's our next objective? Construct a maintenance building at your station at Omaha. Yeah, so trains also need maintenance. They don't get those from the tower. They actually have to have a maintenance building. So in the upper right corner, if we click on this and construct the maintenance building for 80,000, uh, any time a train stops here, it can be serviced and uh, repaired. Okay, so it looks like uh, our friends are going back to Washington, D.C., and we're going to continue building the objectives as required. Okay, we need to connect Omaha and North Plate, and then connect Omaha and Cheyenne. So we're going to take those two first here, before 1863 is over, and before 1864 is over. So let's connect Omaha and North Plate first. So let's get that done. And where is that exactly? Over here. Oh, we can actually build a station first. That'd make it a lot easier. So let's build ourselves a station here. And uh, we have enough money to build a actual train station, so we can, we can have two lines going through. So let's do that. And if we build in the city a little bit, check this out. They'll actually move some of the buildings to another part of town. You may have seen some of the buildings pop up. So it doesn't just bulldoze them. They don't go away. They actually move to a different part of town as if your station was meant to be there the whole time, which is really cool. All right, let's go ahead and connect now. We're going to need multiple train lines, I think. So let's go ahead. and Now, the cool thing about laying down a track, too, if you build a long track like that, it's going to try to keep it the same distance or the same level. So you see how we have to pay 40 what four thousand dollars over here if we slow down a little bit and if we make our tracks shorter distances we can actually weave around certain things and take lower territory if we want to so we can try to keep our uh, maintenance costs or rather our building costs under control a little bit so as you see here we get closer to north pallet uh, that's that's a good way to do that so if we'd like to we can do it this way and you can also delete markers as well. Let's say we built a little too close. If you press shift and do this, really cool for the planning route. So we can make our large bend here 
and then we'll go right up into the station so we don't have to have such a tight turn before we get to that last little stretch of land. Let's go ahead and make our uh, train connect here to the left side, and we should be good here. Perfect. All right, we received $200,000. 100th Meriden crossed. Wonderful. All right, the Meridian Meridian has been crossed. Uh, let's see. Soaring scientists, robbers get dumber. Oh, yeah, all sorts of different stuff here. Cat gives birth. Burton. Oh, boy. Wait, man stuck in drain. Is that is that the thing? Okay. All right, we're off to a really good start here. Let's continue to go to our next objective, which is to uh, uh, construct a rail line to Cheyenne. And that is uh, around here somewhere, I believe. There's Pierre... Uh, Denver, wait a minute, what's under this giant rain cloud? Wow, R weather effects and such in this game too. Was oh, that like a giant dust bowl or something? It's, it's actually some rain blowing through, I think. That's gorgeous. All right, we do need to connect to Cheyenne, which is over here. So let's grab our next train station, and we will connect here as well. Let's go ahead and uh, hold shift and rotate our mouse wheel. There we go. You see how the city kind of changed a little bit for our construction? Very cool. All right, let's connect to our next uh, station. And there's kind of a lip here in the territory, so we definitely don't want to just build straight up there. It'll it'll create a large mountain, and uh, we actually have to dig down a little bit, it seems. So let's try to go around a, some of this, try to save money on our earthworks. Adds a little time, but not too bad. And I see where we have to go up here. There we go. So 1 or 2% incline isn't much. You probably don't want to go much over 10 if you can. If you absolutely have to go 10, and there's no other way around it, that's a viable option. But as you see, the shorter you make your routes, the less of the incline, and uh, the better. There we go. Oh, that kind of looks cool. So our train's going to look really nice going down there. And we want to connect to the correct train line, which is on the right side. So we're good here. All right, we've connected yet another city. We don't have trains going here yet, but we don't need those at this moment. So let's go ahead and move over to our, uh, let's see, our, back to our tasks list. We can also do research, by the way. So as time goes on, we'll be able to unlock more trains and get bigger bonuses and benefits. And this, of course, applies to free mode, scenario mode, and also uh, the uh, the uh, the actual mode here, which is the uh, campaign mode. All right, deliver 16 loads of cattle, meat, and move 12, wow, 1,200 people, uh, or sorry, tw uh, one, yeah, 120,000 people with our train network. That's crazy. Okay, so they want us to connect up to uh, Denver to create meat and then deliver that meat to Cheyenne so we can create a bypass here. It looks like we got a cattle farm over here by the uh, water, the Kelly Ranch. So let's go ahead and uh, create a little train station here. And uh, again, we'll have to add a little... Um, we'll have to add little... Uh, what do they call them again? Let's see what the name is. The supply towers. We need to add supply towers to our route. Otherwise, uh, we'll be stuck out here and that's not going to be good. All right, we did build here. Uh, so I think actually if we if we build here and don't connect to our main train line, we're going to be in trouble. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and connect here uh, to Cheyenne. Now we have multiple trains that can be connected to Cheyenne. So one thing we can do here is if we click the, the, the uh, demolish button, if we hold shift, we can actually make a marker on how much of this track we want to destroy. And I do want to destroy a little bit of this track actually because we're going to use this train track here for delivering some of our cargo. So if I uh, if I do that again, if I uh, left shift and click and click and then click one more time, there you go, you see it demoed it right there. So we need to make a little bit of room for our new train line. So let's do this. So we'll set up a rail line from here to here. Oop, not set up train line, but actually build tracks. There we go. And let's build it here. There we go. Perfect, and we'll build over to Denver now, which is going to make a lot of our... Uh, it's going to actually turn those... Uh, it's going to be a slaughterhouse now for all of those uh, hungry folks in Cheyenne, and we'll deliver it from that Kelly farm to Denver first. So we should be able to connect right up here. I hope. Okay, that, that's the perfect spot for us to build. Let's build our train station on the end. Oh, wait, we got to flip it this way. There we go. All right, we have to build it inside the city. Okay, so we connected there. So Denver is now connected, and we just make a little turn there. Trains won't be going too fast in or out of there anyway, so it's not like a big deal. And we can connect now to our other Kelly farm. Now, again, Kelly Ranch it is. Now, if we uh, build a large turn here, again, build your incline or build your tracks very small in small sections. Look at all the help tips on the map, too. Look at how much information they're giving you. If you need that throughout the tutorial, you can definitely click on that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and slow down and get rid of some of those. 
Okay, and we built ourselves a large... Look at that. Really cool how we build certain uh, divots through the land to keep all the territory flat so we can actually see everything. So our friend there is giving us a lot of information, but he's, he's muted for whatever reason. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more things now. We're going to add ourselves some uh, supply towers. So let's go ahead and build a supply tower here on our train tracks. And we can make more bypass stations as well if we need to. So we'll build one there. Build a supply station here and here. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're also going to build a uh, repair station at Cheyenne for our trains that we will eventually connect. So again, if we would like... Oh, we can even buy these industries as well. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, construct the maintenance building. And we're going to go ahead and also go into town. Oh, I'm going to try to purchase a brewery. No, I want to I want to purchase a slaughterhouse. Let's buy the one in Denver. Yeah, we can actually make some money from this if we if we want to buy it. So for the uh, price of 172000 boom, we now make a lot more money from the delivery of cows because we don't have to pay uh, for it. We, we get more money because we'll, we'll basically deliver the meat. So we own pretty much the whole process. In fact, let's buy out the Kelly Ranch too if we want to. Yes, yes, let's do this. All right, so we're buying out farmers all over the land. So what we're doing is we're basically taking ownership of these so we will make more money in the final delivery. So let's set up a rail line now for our meat train. So we'll have one going from Kelly Ranch to Denver and all the way back to Cheyenne. So it'll deliver the cattle to the slaughterhouse and the meat from that to Cheyenne. All right, let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, Populist does not want to go to war. Looks like a little unrest in New York. Uh-oh, looks like some trouble going on, 1863. Oh, boy. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go back to uh, add a, a, a locomotive here. There we go. And we'll add the Philadelphia. Doot, doot. All right, let's take a look at this thing as it's going along. So you can see all the train cars being attached here. You can hear them even. There you go. You can see them all the way off in the distance. Beautiful game. Look at this incredible skybox. Beautiful, beautiful terrain here in America. Gorgeous. All right, we're rolling. Absolutely love the music, too. A lot of people always commenting on that in the game. Music is really important in these types of games, and this one's got all... Uh, it needs a little bit more harmonica. No, it's, it's perfect. All right, so there goes our meat train now. It'll make its way all the way to Denver, just over there. And then eventually over here, where we'll make more of our uh, more of our money at Cheyenne. Okay, let's take a look at our tasks. So we are now working to deliver the loads of cattle. We're now working to uh, deliver the meat, and we're going to be transporting 120,000 people very shortly. We can extend our routes as well. We can add uh, North Platte to there as well, and uh, add more trains. So let's go ahead and make another side bypass uh, section, side tracks here, and let's go ahead and just do it in the same manner we did before. So that'll require us to uh, let's go ahead and cancel this one here. We're going to go ahead and start again. And we'll make our bypass just up here through the repair station, through the service station, and back onto the tracks. Perfect. Alright, now you do need to do signals every time, and your signals can get rather complex if you know what you're doing. So let's go ahead and go here. Our friend's not narrating for us anymore, so I'm just going to kind of do it my own way here. There we go. And we will build this way as well. Okay, so that should make it a one-way track for each of these, so they know when they bypass each other, they have to go this way. Okay, so the other thing we need to do now is uh, we do need to connect some more of these trains along the route. So we can, uh, instead of just having these two trains run between Omaha and Norfolk and such, we can click up here and take a look at our Omaha Nor Norfolk branch, and we can actually add to this as well if we want to. So we can add another stop, and we're going to stop at North Plate, or Pallet, or Plute, or I don't even know how you say that, over to Cheyenne, and then back from there to uh, North Platte, and then back to North Folk, and then back to, uh, back to Evans Farm again. Actually, we won't need that, will we? So we'll have one train doing that, actually, because this other one's going from Evans Farm to North Folk. And then back. Okay, so this one train will take care of it going back there. And we can actually clone that train as well. So if we want to, let's go back here, go to Omaha, Norfolk. We can actually clone this train, and we'll have another train on the tracks. Perfect. So it just needs to wait for uh, the tracks to clear. There we go, before it goes out. So our first train's going. Our second one will be here in a second. There it goes. And it'll go that way. We're going to skip all those tool tips for now. Uh, there's another meat factory here. Let's go ahead and buy some more meat factories. So that way we can make more money from that. Ooh, that's 300000 All right, let's buy that. We'll cut our money close, but we'll make more profit in the end. And uh, that that's really good. We'll make a lot of money from that meat factory. Uh, so I think we get more on the delivery since it's coming directly from there. All right, two trains are going to cross each other. 
So it looks like more supplies are needed going west. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's so beautiful. All right. So uh, if you're watching this video too and you're curious or interested, just remember that the second part is already released on the channel as well. So if you want to see us build in the east and uh, have older trains build and uh, start out over there with a bigger passenger service, if that's your thing, we got you covered too. Already rolling here. Let's see what we got going on. Look at that. We've already delivered half the loads of cattle to Denver and half the loads of meat to Cheyenne. And we're getting close with our people. We've almost we've almost gotten down to just 10,000 people that are still needing to be delivered uh, to destinations across the Great Plains. After this, we need to reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne, which is being completed by delivering meat and passengers. And we also need to com connect Omaha and Rock Springs and transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. So that's one thing we definitely need to do for sure. So let's go ahead and take a look at our route here. And uh, apparently we can find out our city's needs at Cheyenne by clicking here on the city and then going to information and we can see exactly what they demand. So uh, they'd like to have corn on the right side. You, you, on the left you see what they have and on the right you see what they want. So here they want to, uh, they have plenty of booze, they need, uh, they have plenty of meat, they, they're using it. The only thing they don't have is corn. So if we could find a corn farm around here we could definitely deliver it. So it looks like up here He's telling us, oh, connect Cheyenne to a timber business. All right, so we can definitely do that. Let's add a timber business to it as well. We can help our city to grow even further. So let's build ourselves a train. I love how this game has kind of, you know, my more cartoony art in a few instances, like you see over there. And also it has, oh, you know what? Actually, wait a minute. If we build a larger train station, what we could do, oh, wait a minute. Oh, if we build a huge train station here, you know what we can do? We can deliver both grain and wood. So we can supply the brewery need and all oh, this is going to be awesome. How much is that? 200000 No problem. I'll show you how we take out loans too if we run out of cash. So I'm kind of playing like this so we can try to show off all the features. We're only going to have one train for now, but we needed that large uh, station there to be able to connect to both at the same time. All right, let's sneak around here. So there is a brewery in Cheyenne. So they are demanding beer. I don't blame them. I demand beer too. All right, actually, let's do this. Uh, before we come in all the way, let's do this. We're going to start here. And let's go ahead and upgrade this, expand our station. So now we have one more uh, lane of tracks, two more lanes of tracks that we can connect to. So we don't have to have a large... Uh... Now, of course, that's expensive, but if you didn't want to... Uh... If you didn't want to have uh, worried about uh, lanes, you can, you can basically just upgrade your tracks, no problem. So that's one thing that you can do, no problem. Easy peasy. All right, let's see. Is that good? All right, let's go ahead and build with that. So now all of our trains kind of have their own train line. Let's build a supply tower here. There we go. Okay, let's buy ourselves a train after we set up our route. So uh, Brown Preserve is going to be bringing both grain and lumber to Cheyenne and back and forth. It has a maintenance station, too, at Cheyenne. Union Pacific Railroad increases route length over 1,044 miles of long, long traf track. Sorry. Wow, that's awesome. That's very good. We've got plenty, plenty of stuff going on here. That There's a lot of money to be made. This is good. Let's buy ourselves a train. I'm excited. This is really cool. And here goes our train now, the Brown Preserve. Now, uh, one thing I understand, too, is the bigger the station, the faster that it'll load. And the bigger the station, the greater reach that it has. So you can see over here at the lumber mill and also the, the, the uh, I guess, the preserve or the farm, uh, the wheat farm, that it's grabbing from both simultaneously and loading it onto the train so you see grain is here first we're gonna wait for lumber to come in but okay well let's see what our next objective is then uh, we're almost done delivering those loads of cattle so it looks like our trains coming in for yet another stop there it is it's unloading at um, Denver there we go so it delivered whatever was needed there and here comes our meat now so the meat is being loaded up again onto this uh, this beautiful train ah, that looks so awesome and look at how live the cities look as well. I haven't commented on that yet, but they really look great. There's a uh, horse and buggy going around. It actually says the town's name on the sign. You can see that as you pull into the station. Let's ride one of these trains for a quick second and enjoy again uh, the, the wonders of this game and the beauty of America. We can look out either side. Really cool. Or we can see the tracks if we want to. Very nicely detailed. Again, for a game that is in a pre-release uh, preview, this is... <laughs> This is really good. This is definitely what I wanted from... Uh, a lot of it really gives me a lot of feel of Railroad Tycoon 3. And I like that a lot because that game really had a lot... The solid thing about that was its campaign. And this is definitely not lacking in that in the slightest. So it's definitely, definitely a good game so far. 
I love it. All right, so we're coming around the bend now. Too bad there's not a river or something here to cross, but you can see where we've been doing our earthworks on this side of the track. You can see where all the tracks have been dug out. Really cool. And it looks like this train has just arrived to uh, drop off passengers. Or pick up passengers. Oh, so she switched to go the other way. She's loading up with her cars. Those are mail cars there. We're going to make a lot of money from this. Let's see how much money we're going to make here in the city. Uh, Denver's really making a lot of cash, too, with all the cattle that are being delivered there. All right, there goes our train full of beer. Beer and passengers and mail. That's awesome. And we have a train here that's being serviced. And we'll be back on the uh, line here in just a second. This is great. Really good stuff. End of the line, I suppose. And here comes our train now with the grain needed. Oh, we also have a research department. Surely All right, let's we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. For each advancement, you require innovation points, which you get automatically each week. Unlock an innovation of your choice now. How about a new locomotive? All right, let's go for that. We'll go for the number 51 Dragon, and we'll start using that as soon as we build our next uh, station. So uh, it seems over here they're delivering a lot more grain than lumber. I think this train's taken maybe two trips now and possibly delivered more uh, grain than it has lumber, but everything seems to be waiting there. We can also hire another train or build another one if we need to, but it's so close that it really it doesn't have to happen. All right, so let's see what our next objective is. Oh, and you know what's really awesome? You know what's really cool? Check this out. So if you want to look at your trains, you can do it this way. But how do you look around the train? Well, check this. If you hit the middle mouse button, it actually rotates. Yeah, look at that. It actually rotates the table rather than rotating. Like, you're not rotating the camera around the train. The, the uh, train's rotating kind of around for you. That's really nice. And we can also take a look at our new dragon as well. Wow, that's looking like a beefier train for sure. Look at the large light on that thing. Man, that's huge. Look at that. The large boiler there. Really awesome. Do you know that many people call a vast stretch of land between the Mississippi and California the Great American Desert? <laughs> Those fools. Once my railroad has opened everything up, the value of these lands will go through the roof. Those fools. He sounds like an evil genius. All right, we need to deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver, so that's one last thing we need to do. Cheyenne got done earlier since we were probably bringing it from the the east and uh, we need to have a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne we're very we're very close very very close to being there and uh, connect Omaha and Rock Springs is another thing we can do but we'll do it one at a time we have plenty of time here my to take a look say I'm lining my own pockets these are of course hideous lies and look at it this way with the profits I'm making I can invest much more jobs 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 all right, so future expansion is the name of the game here, as he was saying. We want to definitely uh, save some money in order to expand our rail line to make more money. Okay, look at that. Looks like more... Uh, is that thing actually... Oh, that's weird. Seems to be hauling... How did it get beer on this train? How is it hauling beer from the Kelly Ranch? That's weird. It shouldn't have anything other than the cattle. Hmm, that's strange. That must be a glitch or something. So when trains come back here to Kelly Ranch, that train should unload everything already. It should come back here with a completely empty car. But that's fine. Cheyenne will grow here in just a moment. So we've connected to everything that we needed around here. You can see other uh, places in the game that supply, for example, uh, iron ore. Uh, you can see here salt mines. And also uh, you can see, uh, where was that one plantation? Oh, yeah, there's a... Uh, now, this is interesting. When you click on here, uh, it says that it is a... Uh, you see it says wool. This is a cotton farm. This is the right estate. They have a cotton farm here. But it says it's wool when you hire over or when you hover over it. And it's like, hmm, that's that's a little interesting. Okay. Well that's some interesting looking wool. Ah, here comes some logs now on the back of the train. Two loads of logs and plenty of grain. That'll at least grow the business here for and look at how beautiful that train station is. It's a really big train station. Really nice. And it can quickly unload cargo. Wow, we got all of our money back quickly. That's nice. So in this game, there's also competitors. You can go into uh, you can go into the company mode and look at your competitors. We won't have any at the moment. Uh, that's us right there. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like me. And uh, you can also take out uh, loans if you'd like to, or bonds as they call it in the game. And you can also invest in the stock market. I so I have to wrangle with a lot of competitors. 
But if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. Oh. What, you haven't encountered her yet? Be glad. She takes everyone to the cleaners. All right. So we've uh, invested a lot now. We can all also make a lot of money from that. So, for example, if we grow or start delivering more food industries, uh, for example, if we buy a couple of factories related to cattle and production, uh, turning them into meat, we'll make a ton of money from that. So with the uh, stocks that we just purchased, check this out. Two trains pulling into the station. And we'll be making a lot more money from that than we normally would. There we go. Beautiful. And we will, over time, make a lot more cash, and that's going to be wonderful. All right, let's take a look at our objectives. We are almost done with delivering the loads of cattle. I don't know what's up with this train. It seems to bring beer back with it, too. I don't know if he's stopping at Denver on his way back or what. But let's take a look at our train and make sure it's doing the right thing. So this is the one that goes from Kelly Ranch to Cheyenne. And he's loading with beer, which is strange because he shouldn't do that. He's going straight back to the ranch. So I don't know if these guys are, like, paying these guys off at Kelly Ranch. <laughs> Is Kelly Ranch paying these guys off to bring back a whole thing of booze or something? Like, they're bringing back the brewskis, brah. There's no reason for this uh, farm to be supplied with anything at all. So that must be a glitch or something. But it's fine, so long as, um, I guess so long as our train's actually making it back, that's the biggest concern. But we want to make sure that those uh, cattle are being delivered. Okay, well, while we're waiting for that train to uh, finish up with the cattle, let's start on our next leg of the race. I was going to wait for him, but I guess no time for that. And actually, look at that. Cheyenne at the bottom, almost to 30,000. So let's go ahead and connect Omaha to Rock Springs, and we will make a, a pathway through here. We'll build it on our number two track. So let's go ahead and put it here. And we will uh, extend our line all the way up this direction. And it looks like we just completed that task of growing our city. I saw it grow a little bit. So let's build a beautiful train line through here, through the uh, mountain pass, just through these uh, small sections here. I think this is a clay uh, pit over here. And where's our next city? We need to get up to Rock Springs is our next one. So if we want to, we can actually build around these uh, clay pits too and make it more sightly. The cool thing about this game is that you just need to avoid the main industry. So if you want to build over here just a little bit and go around the clay pit, it's not like there's a huge hitbox around this thing. It's actually sensical. Like, they don't want you getting near the main factory, that kind of thing. But if I were a train, you know, if I were designing this route, I probably wouldn't want to go anywhere near the clay pits. That could cause a collapse or a slide in if it rains, that kind of thing with all the vibration and everything. All right, inclines here are going to be pretty good. I'm going to try to keep them to zero as we slide into Rock Springs. And here we are, baby, Rock Springs. All right, so we have arrived here at the city. Let's put down a station. And we'll build a small train station for now. And let's build right here. Now, if you try to build more than one station at a time like this, they'll tell you to connect the previous ones first. Otherwise, the townsfolk may get mad that their stations aren't being connected. But we're all good here. So Earthworks there was $12,000, and we're almost out of cash. Luckily, we almost have enough for our new train station. Uh, Union Pacific Railroad, new station. We now have nine stations currently connected. Very nice. Trains without tracks. Yeah. Abducted by aliens. A strange encounter of a different kind happened to Russell Case. Las Vegas on his way back to his farm poker game. He disappeared, reappearing in a cave. Oh, wow. All right, I guess there's aliens in this game. Confirm, guys. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens, you guys. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves a supply tower. Oh, Raptor, you're out of money. You're totally right. Cool. Let's do some research here for a second. Uh, let's actually research the standardized components, which lowers the maintenance uh, time of our trains. Uh, let's go to company. Let's take out a bond. I actually want to show that off. So we can take out bonds here. We can choose which bond we would like to issue and how much interest it will take. I am interested in taking out the biggest one, so let's do that. That just means that we'll owe a lot more shares to our or profits to our, uh, our shareholders. So let's go ahead and put down what we need now, which is the warehouse, or rather the uh, supply tower. And um, the good thing is, is we, we, you can totally beat this mission without even taking out any sort of loans. But I'm just showing off everything there is to do. So it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more money. And that's a good thing. All right, let's build a new train route from Cheyenne. It's going to be our express train from Cheyenne to uh, Rock Springs and back and forth. So let's go ahead and accept and add a locomotive. We'll add the dragon here. It's a lot slower and a lot less money, but let's have it anyway. We don't have to go as far, so that's okay. Additionally, in this game, you can hire personnel, but they're not letting me do it at the moment. They uh, increase the uh, effectiveness of your trains. For example, it can make them leave faster or... Uh, wow, that train sounds sweet. Let's get on this train. Let's take a ride. Whew. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. Wow, this is gorgeous. If I press F1... Oh, I thought it would... Uh, 
turn off the HUD. Look at how gorgeous this is. Wow. Let's take a look out this side. That is absolutely beautiful. So we're hauling beer, passengers, and mail to Rock Springs right now at a whopping 26 miles an hour. Wow. Turbo train. We'll be there in just a moment or two. Yeah. All right, let's wait for that train to get there. Okay, how are we doing on our other objectives? All right, looks like still the the cattle loads are taking some time. I guess they're doing a little bit more, a little bit too much drinking over at the Kelly Ranch rather than actually, uh, you know, supplying us with cattle. Uh, here comes the rest of the meat. Oh, there we go. That that should be everything we need there. Finally loaded onto the train, and I think that'll be it. Again, pulling into the station here at Cheyenne. I just wish it wouldn't highlight it in white whenever you whenever you hovered over. Oh well. It's okay. It's just a game mechanic. And that should be it for our other task. We have more research at our disposal. Oh, we only have two uh, research for that, so we'll wait. 12 out of 16 on the cattle. Oh, wait. Cattle to Denver. Oh, they need to deliver it. Never mind. I was thinking meat to Cheyenne. It's actually cattle to Denver. So we need for that to catch up. Luckily, we still have some other objectives to complete, so we'll be okay. All right. Let's send another train up to uh, Palm Springs. It takes a while to get there, so let's build a bypass track somewhere near the clay mine. Oh, the clay mine moved its pit. Oh, I wanted to, like, build between it. I thought it would look cool. All right. Let's build a bypass here. And we will build this one a long way, a very long way, as this is a very long train. And we will build it all the way to here. And we'll have just one train going in and out of there at a time. So we will go back to building our signals as we have many times before with the block end on that. And we will do so on the other side too. And we'll build it right here. Hmm. Well, one of them should be enough for now. No, that's going to bother me. Let's do it right. Although I can't seem to select this one. That's just going to take a little practice. There we go. All right, let's go back to our train, and we'll add a locomotive to our rail lines. Let's go back to our rail lines. We want the uh, Rock Springs route, so we'll add a train to that. All right, so we're moving people and goods two times as fast, back and forth from Rock Springs. It's a little bit of a distance up there, so we can do two trains, no problem. It is actually quite a distance. And one train is leaving now. Perfect, so we will have a train to and fro. And there goes yet another train out of Cheyenne. Looking beautiful. Beautiful mountains. Game's really detailed. Good music. Uh, both uh, poppy and also kind of ominous. It's very good. Very important to me to have some good music. And appropriate music, too, for a game such as this. They're still bringing beer back. What I'm thinking happened is I, I'm thinking they're just stuck on the train. And they're not unloading them at all. So our train capacity is just kind of goofed up. But again, remember, it's, just, it's not necessarily the beta, but it's just kind of the uh, pre-production version. So there goes the cattle cars. All right, that looks to be five. I hope that's enough now. Uh, 12 plus five is over 16, so we should be good so long as the cattle is delivered to Denver, so that objective should be complete. That took a way, way longer than it should have. Here comes some additional grain and uh, lumber from the uh, Brown Preserve all the way over there. The Brown Preserve sounds like a really nice place to buy wine. Sounds like a great place to buy wine. Look at the city. It's beautiful. It's still divided now by the railroad tracks. It's really cool. And even more money flowing into Cheyenne. And we're almost up to like half a million dollars. So we didn't. We we don't even really need that bond anymore. All right, train stopping here for refueling. And uh, looks like our other train is going back towards Rock Springs. Let's go ahead and see what it's like to pull into Rock Springs. Biggest thing I love in this game is riding the trains. I just wish this terrain had more uh, rivers and uh, forests to go through. There we go. All right, we're pulling in, letting everyone know we're arriving. Very good. And there's all those horses and buggies. Look at that, man. That's cool. And there's the city of Rock Springs. Everyone's waiting patiently. Wow, three women are wearing the same uniform or outfit. They must be mad at each other. All right, so there's Rock Springs earning $15,000 off that delivery. Good times. Really good. All right, so we again, remember, we get more money as we own more businesses. So, for example, if we bought the uh, brewery now, it would be a good time for us to make some uh, money. 
So let's go ahead and do that for the... Oh, wow, 600... Oh, look at that. Because we started supplying it, you should buy it before you supply it. Remember that, because once they start making a profit, they're going to want more money before you buy them. So just keep that in mind. We could make more cash there, but it's not the end of the world. You make cash from delivering stuff to it, and you make uh, more cash from delivering the stuff that it makes to uh, towns that actually want to be supplied by it. And every town in the game does want beer. Every town does want corn, that kind of thing. So... All right, and yet another, look at that, yet another delivery. Cheyenne is just very busy. I'm glad we built this uh, extra big train station here. It, it definitely needs it. Uh, let's take a look at our tasks again. All right, the last task on our objectives is to transport 100 passengers to Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. So we're at 82 out of 100 passengers here. There we go. 16,800 from that one. And we'll make more profit. And Cheyenne is growing yet again. It's going to be the biggest city on the map. It's like a uh, tier 3 city now. And Rock Springs is soon to be 2 tier as soon as we get more people and uh, and uh, beer delivered. And yet another train's coming in. So those trains are going off really well. And we're bringing in more passengers, which is good. I don't know how many passengers are on each train car. And I wanted to get this for research, but... I guess we can buy the caboose, but it's a little too late to really show off what it does, which isn't much, really. It's just kind of a thing to get more money for the employees. They get, I think, more pay. I think it increases worker satisfaction, basically, meaning it then increases reliability of other things. I'm not certain, but anyway, here comes our last train. This is, again, remember the Dragon 51. You can see the signals working. That's cool. Seems to be a little sound glitch from time to time, but again, beta. Or pre-pre pre-release version, I guess. Look at all those car... Oh, that is cool. Too bad we can't see the carts loaded actually with cattle or people or s stuff like that. Progress is enormous. All right. The Far East is no longer so far away anymore, and the people are slowly realizing that trade helps create prospering cities. We still have a long way to go, but the Transcontinental Railroad is coming. It sure is. We're going to build that coming up very soon. We've completed all the compulsory tasks in the chapter. Click this box to view final rating of your performance. Okay, hopefully we did good. Oh, but a cutscene. Here we go. Wow, look Despite at that. Beautiful. all the challenges, the Union Pacific Railroad managed to cross the endless expanses of the Great Plains and conquer the merciless slopes of the Rocky Mountains. Wow. The Central Pacific Railroad approached from the west, but the winter of 1868 brought all work to a standstill. The two lines lay just a few hundred miles across from each other, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. Wow, look at that. The dream of the first wow. transcontinental railroad seemed to be within touching distance, but was buried by house-high masses of snow and blown away by icy snowstorms, a dream that had begun almost four decades before. In 1830. All right, that's where we're going to be going to next then. So again, check the channel for that next episode. Uh, we've got, oh, Apparently we're up to a level... Uh, what is this, a count level? I guess you could do... Oh, is this? Can you get up to president, or is this just our current rating? Wow, that's really good. Well, okay, not bad for me taking time to explain everything. So good, I'm an accountant, like I am in real life. All right, everyone, I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching, and again, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to see more of this. Click the bell, too, so you're notified of these videos. If you subscribe, you may as well do that, or if you're a subscriber, so that way you actually get notified. It's kind of dumb YouTube doesn't do that, but whatever. And I will see you all next time. Take care, and I'll see you next time in, uh, I guess, the east, which is... Uh, uh, Baltimore. All right. All aboard, and I'm rolling out. Goodbye, everyone.